good morning i hope you're doing well and welcome back to my channel so it is currently 6 15 in the morning i got ready i've literally had two hours sleep not gonna lie but we are going on a nice short flight we are going back to moscow so if you followed my channel for a while or not even a while for like a month i was in moscow the beginning of january i didn't film it because we didn't go out wasn't allowed and unfortunately it's the same i'm still not allowed out but i'm there for 50 hours uh, yeah 50 hours i'm there for so i've packed a lot i don't even know what's in those bags anymore i've lost track i know i've got food i've got clothes lounge clothes i do have an outfit just in case it changes while we're going there but rules are rules and they're meant to be followed and uh, I'm not gonna break the rules and put it on the internet. You get me? You get me. I'm actually doing all right for time. I'm getting picked up in 15 minutes. I'm fully aware of the state of my hair. I should have washed it yesterday, but I didn't. I was like, oh, I'll wash it in Moscow. Cause from memory, I think they have like a rainfall shower. I hope they do now that I've not washed my hair. So I packed some stuff to wash it. I've not took my dryer though, like my hair dryer. There was just no space in that bag. We're just gonna have to blast it with the hotel hair dryer and then just hope for the best. So in this video, you will probably see me looking a little bit crazy. It's all fine, I'm not that bothered. Anywho, I'm gonna get sorted and I shall see you in Moscow. welcome to moscow so i got into the hotel yesterday i think it was like four o'clock 4 p.m local time did my little pottering about ordered some food and then i slept so i woke up this morning at like 8 a.m and it is now 10 42 i did have some porridge this morning i'm trying to like eat breakfast if you know me you know i don't like breakfast so that is the current situation. I did just put a little bit of makeup on to make myself feel a bit better. I've just opened the curtains and it's snowing again. Let me show you. I don't think I've actually showed you the view. But look, it's snowing. It's gonna get cold a second. It's so pretty. And like, let me just grab some snow. It's actual, oh my God, it's so cold. <laughs> Look at the cars. It's so pretty. Oh my God, there's people on the roof. Let me zoom in. I don't know what they're doing. I'm assuming they're getting snow out of it. But yeah, there's just people on a roof. Wow, okay. Yeah, let me close this window because it's cold. And I've turned the heater, the heater on, there's a heater down here. This is like my favorite little spot at the minute, just sit on the windowsill and like watch outside. Because I can't go out, which is fine, because it is cold, it's like minus three, I think. As much as I'd like to go out in the, the, the sun, as much as I'd like to go out in the snow, I don't, don't want to. We were having a conversation yesterday, actually, on the flight, that a lot of crew have never actually seen snow until they became crew. So, have you ever seen snow? Like, have you ever actually, like, felt snow? I'm interested to know, because growing up in the UK, you see snow, like, every year. Not this type of snow, like, thick, soft, nice snow, but we get snow. So yeah, let me know. Where are you from and do you see snow? I am going to have a little business day, I think. I've got some editing I need to do and 
post that um so blog stuff trying to get back on that so i'm gonna do all that today sit on my little desk be a little businesswoman i'm just gonna sit here for a couple of hours <laughs> and just watch the world go by update on the view cars getting towed don't know why i missed that bit she's putting all our, our cars down on the table knowing there's no way that she'll be able to win this one But she's somebody else in the making first She's just gotta stop all the faking I look very orange, wow Lighting goals Anyway, I've just had the strangest experience of life And I think it's, I'm just trying to change the light in So, excuse the panda eye because it's been a long day <laughs> Um, so I'm obviously in a different country right now so my phone, my Dubai phone doesn't work outside of the country so if anyone tries to call me or text me the provider texts me instead and says someone's trying to get in touch with me so all day I've been getting these texts saying someone's tried to ring me but it doesn't tell you who it is or like the number or anything like that I was like I have no idea who would be trying to ring me like everybody knows that needs to get in touch with me to text me on WhatsApp because that's the only way they're going to get in touch with me. Anyway, about like 20 minutes ago, this number WhatsApped me. I was like, hi, how are you doing? Um, I've been trying to ring you all day. I was like, yep, I I know. <laughs> um, but my phone doesn't work outside the country. Like, what do you want? And he's like, oh, are you expecting a parcel? I was like, yeah. He's like, okay, it's been delivered to my address. I was like, but why? Like, I got it sent to a PO box, so it should be at the PO box, not at someone's house. And then the conversation mm -hmm. went on. He sent me a picture of the front of the parcel with the address on. And it does have my PO box address number on, but it's not even there. And it's not even at my address. It's at, like, my old address of where I used to live. Well, I don't know how the company got that address what the hell like how does that make sense why are you not delivering the parcel to the address on the parcel anyway, that's my rant I've, oh, i worked out who it was it was the the new landlord of the old place i lived figured it out in the end but yeah my parcel is there instead of at my p.o box address where it's supposed to be uh does make it easier for me to go collect because it's not that far away from where I actually live now. But a little bit frustrating. And I also can't get my head around how they got that address. Just deliver to the address on the parcel. It's not hard. It's right there. Anyway, that was my weird frustration rant. It's currently six minutes past six in the evening. I've had a very strangely productive day. I have sat in this chair most of the day doing some editing and all the bits I wanted to do. So that's all done. And now I think it's time to have some food. I also was supposed to wash my hair on this layover. Don't think I'm going to do it. I do want to get back. At least then I've got a hair dryer. Oh yeah, another frustration. This This is just me going off now. I brought my Nintendo Switch with me so that I could like play some games and pass time in bed. Um, I can't connect it to the internet because you need like your room number and your name to log into the internet and it won't do that. And then I can't also play games offline because it needs to be updated and I can't play anything until it updates, which you need the internet for. So that was a waste of space in my bag. I have watched it snow most of the day which is nice i just can't get get my head around that i just can't like how 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 <laughs> how oh right that's the the latest for you i'm gonna do a shower now no i'm gonna eat first and then shower and then bed not on better than getting in bed when you're like freshly clean and cold yes i'm gonna do that right ran over I'll see you in a bit.
It's a couple of hours later and it's time to eat and I've showered and I have panda eyes and I'm not going to show you my face. So this is my food. I got a margarita pizza with some ham, french fries, a bit of water, a bit of Pepsi. I'm going to sit and watch, what is it, Gemma Louise Mills' recent vlog. 38 minutes. That is enough time for me to eat like three slices of pizza because I am the slowest eater ever. But anyway, I'm going to eat this and get to sleep. So, good night. Back in my favourite spot on the windowsill, watching the snow fall. But it is time to, ooh, it is time to leave. So I finished packing, got ready, had some leftover pizza this morning for my breakfast. It's always nice the next day. So the flight is only five hours, I want to say. Maybe five and a half. Not full. So I actually a nice little day today and I get back to Dubai at half eleven at night. So it's not a bad time. Get home, get in bed, sorted. Uh, but yeah, that is it for now. I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.